and it's an exciting matchup, means a lot. Tori versus Nameless Tori, recently promoted to RLCS, Nameless, surprise team to be here, they've had a good showing so far, good names on that team as well, Ocelon, Rex Rondi and Domain, and, well, some excellent names, do they live up to the weight their names hold, so will Solary have an easy run to the next round, and 30 seconds in, Solary, already on the attack but getting shot down pretty quickly, and Rex taking it back up field, carrying up high, Ocelon gets bumped away, a bit of time and Kerrion flopping around the ball, Domain, to the backboard, Ocelon following up to the backboard once more, is there a follow up once again, no, Exotic can get it away for a moment, but sent straight back in by Nameless. Well, a good vision control as well from Nameless, we saw right there. Rix knew to back off, but Dumain at the same time gets the first goal. And this is just the absolute start for Nameless. Of course, Solari are coming in with high expectations. Everybody expecting so much from them, and Nameless are already taking the lead. One already to Nameless, and a good start for them, a good start and bit of pressure, Solari. Struggling to deal with it there. Some touches that really should have been good clues away, but they took them too slow got punished with it and now they're trailing by one is carrying off the ceiling launching it down that's a quick equalizer where's the defense for nameless nowhere to be found there's a one apiece and as quickly as that we have our equalizer solary definitely being the respects to their own name they know how good they have to be and he actually showed it right now and right there, that first goal from Kieran, of course, puts him at an equalised spot once again. Only one minute gone by, but that is Rex with an absolute clanger, makes it 2-1. And very, very quick to return the favour there off the kickoff. Melo can't make it back in time. 2-1 to one now to Nameless and quickly getting that lead back. One minute off the clock and 2-1, to one, three goals scored already. It seems like we're going to get a high scoring game right here. Well, the first goal uh, game, high scoring one, Dumain now playing that ball to the side quickly enough to make sure that Solari don't get yet another goal because they want to keep a hold of this lead now. Dumain trying to control the ball on the side, does get a beautiful 15 right there as Melo is now trying to go for the ceiling. Of course, still has the flip reset, does outplay Ocelon as Rix is now taking his time and that's something they've been doing quite a lot. And what they're actually very effective at, every time they're controlling the ball, they're very dangerous. But right there, there's Exotic making it 2 2. Messi defense once again. The last man couldn't make it back in time. Also, on a bit too wide. Exotic just tapping that into the other corner. Tied up once again. One minute 30 off the clock. Goals all around. Everyone wants to get a piece of the action. And it's 2 a piece. Well, well, to a piece. It is still equal with three minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Both teams are, to, of course, looking for that lead. And of course, it is only the nameless team that has led so far. Solari will need to step up that game, will need a goal as a response this time around. And make sure that they keep the nameless out of the net. But right now, we have Carrier laying that ball down to Exotic. Back pass to the middle. But that's easily intercepted by Riggs. We found that hole in that rotation and is now trying to exploit it as much as possible. Kerrion on the sidewall, trying to find a pass out, but Lion to Rex once more. Around the corner it goes, Exotic can touch it away. Melo pushing in, cannot find it, and Kerrion gets beat out in the fifth. They launch that field. Dumain can't connect dealer, and a chance for Solari to push up field as it comes to the corner. Melo going for a demo, can't find it. The ball launched high, still in Solari's possession as they're bringing it around once more. Another shot, another save, and Exotic straight back in, keeping the pressure on. They drop down in front of net. No follow up, able to find the goal, and Dumain can take it upfield, try and get a counter, a good chance to do it, and it goes centre, Ocelon takes a shot, saved away, and name was shut down. Well, they got shut down once again, and now there's a beautiful other opportunity developing right there, and that's of course because of the pressure that Nameless is able to exhibit every time over and over again, we see not backing down, the moment one misses a ball, there's already one behind him trying to follow up right there, all three in a corner, might be an awkward spot. These guys know how to deal with it properly. And we see now an opportunity for Solari and it is Carrion making it 3-2 with 1 minute and 50 seconds remaining. Messi defence all around this game, not the best to see. Some good shooting though, they have been able to capitalise on the defence. Also on, looking a bit lost on that goal and couldn't make it back in time. 3-2 now to Solari, they're back in the lead. 1 minute 50 in the clock and Nameless. They are now behind, and they struggle to get back. 
But with the amount of goals we've seen already, I wouldn't be surprised to see one more to equalize. Oh well, one more to equalize, but this time around it is of course Nameless that have to do so there. Riggs completely missing the ball, makes it very awkward. Also, get, well, very good 50 right there from Exotic, putting it all the way to the other side as Kirian is almost trying to get that ball forwards once again. And that's something these teams have been doing splendidly, trying to find each other through 50s, and that's also powerful in these kind of matchups. But what? The Kirian with an absolute shot, redirect downwards, and the defense wasn't expecting it. And this is what I've been expecting from Sori. 4-2, to two. so much better, some lovely passes, some lovely shooting, they've got a lead. 1 minute 20 seconds left on the clock, a two goal lead. Looking a lot better now, looking like they've got into this game, know what they need to do and they're doing it perfectly well. No more defensive mistakes from them, they've been solved all around, they're taking full advantage of Nemo's mistakes. Well, mistakes are always bound to happen, and right there we have Exotic dropping that ball down to Melo and almost getting in once again. Those opportunities are oh so dangerous. Nameless don't know how to respond to them. And that's something they will have to stop up. They will have to realize that Solari is very dangerous. So close by, far away from the net. It doesn't matter. You just have to shut them down time after time again. Now launch up field. Rex Ronde can't find a teammate. Melo just hits it high, keeps it in the midfield. Do me up, nowhere near. Arcelon can launch up field though. Found by Rex Ronde, coming center once more. A great dunk on Exotics, going to find a fifth for Solary, 5-2, to two, 28 seconds, Solary's going to take game number one. After that shaky start, they finally pulled the hat, and now they did it very confidently. We started with one goal difference, and they found two, now we're on three. Now the real question is, Boyo, will they take also the momentum going into game two, or will it be the nameless that score again, try and get that momentum for game two, but right there, beautiful play, Dumain now up in the air, trying to solo it, tries to duck underneath the defense as Karrion is still able to get a touch, but Dumain able to get it to the side, but that's a beautiful clear to the side once again, and Sori seem to escape it and find almost yet another goal. As soon as they got into this game, they were unstoppable by Nameless. 5-2, to two. they take game 1 in a very good fashion. I'm expecting it to be similar from game 2 and 3, but can Nameless fix this defensive issues they've been having? Or else will they keep taking advantage and maybe just find a sweep? Well, potentially a sweep, you never know, but of course the Nameless guys have the skills to be here. They're not going to be some kind of pushovers. Because otherwise, why even play until this point, Boyo? So they are going to fight back. They're going to strike back in the second game. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will come out even stronger than that first goal, uh, that that first game already dictated. I hope they do come out stronger. And I do think they have the ability to do so. As it is, 1-0 in favour of Solary. They can do a lot better over on the nameless side. Will they show us that better gameplay? Or will we see a similar thing? The players are in. Game number two. I'm expecting to see better. I want to see better. Show me better and I will be a happy man. It's already looking good. Nameless. Finding the opening goal. Well, you might be talking about pinpoint precision right there, but Rex realized that the defense was very shaky right there. Backflip Kirian realizing that he has to make this save. Well, was yet in a very awkward position that last from Flippy did to try and keep up with the main right there in offense. It's what put him in an awkward spot, and Riggs completely capitalized on that vision control. The long shot field also on can catch it. Exotic trying to get a dunk, could not find it. Up high for Melo, the pass up field. Exotic can't connect it to the backboard by the touch of Oslon. I need the chance for Kerry, and Melo gets a great bump. Dooming can't find a touch, but it goes high off the crossbar. And Nameless are lucky to not concede right there. And they come round once more, Exotic with another chance. Can't get a pass out. Melo dropping it down to Kerry and another save by Rex Rondi. And Melo to the corner. Trying to drop it down. Centre. Pass every last person on the pitch. But Dumain taking it off field. Same by Melo. A bit of time of Rex Rondi trying to find a pass back over to Ocelon. Round the corner it goes. Slow gameplay at the moment, low on Booth, and a beat out Exotic, he jumps early, he does get the read. A dem from Rex, Melo can keep following up, another attack from Nameless with a potential two goal lead. The shot going wide though, that should have been in, another follow up from Arsenal off the post and out it went. They just cannot catch a break, so so close, 
cleared away to the main back and all. A counter attack starting to develop from Solari. Yeah, it's of course chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity, and both teams realizing that applying that pressure as much as possible is something very important at this stage. And that's why they are trying to get that defense from the other team as tight as possible, try and break it down, try and starve it with boost stars, trying to take those boosts, those bumps, those demos, and that's something that of course the nameless team is known for. But right there, brute force strength, Melo gets, gets the 1-1. And he calls our final found for Solari all tied up and 1 minute 30 off the clock we find a tie game A bit better from Solari, a few mistakes coming out which I was not happy to see Looking a bit better there getting that goal But Nim was taking advantage of the chances they have But they're shooting actually not being good enough Shots going wide, shots going high They need to just be able to shoot into net Otherwise, they have no hope when they're given, gonna get given so many opportunities. Well, also on right there from that breach up, still got rewarded. He was able to get a touch, but now it is, of course, Domain trying to lead that charge. As well as now going to the other side, Exotic realizing he has the time. Four set 50 beautifully makes sure that ball went to the center. And it's already able to follow up Arquist's position right there from Domain. Trying to get that ball clear to the side, was able to do so perfectly. And this is the pressure that Solari is able to exhibit all nameless time and time again, and it's really nameless. They're struggling to keep up with it. That's the reason why Solari was so strong at the end of that game one. Ringing around the corner, Melo can get a touch. Past one, past another, also on the last man back. Melo no boost. A good 50 50, a wide open net, and Solari have a lead once more. Two to one. Half the game gone. What a play. Let's be honest, 50s that go that way, that leaves an open up from Kirin just shows that right there, that was the right decision from the offen offensive player. They got that 50, force it, keep it in that same position and roll away together with the defender to leave them that open. Kirin, of course, realized that his teammate was going to do that, did it splendidly, followed it up, and now it is nameless once again. Not in, not in the lead, but trailing by one goal, and it is Rick's trying to solo it. Oh, he's able to do it! What a beautiful Rick, dribble! Rondi, what a dribble! Also, on a lovely pass, and Rex taking matters into his own hand. Over exhaust, take off the crossbar, and then it goes all tied up in game number two. Oh, well, game number two. This time around, it is tied. Seems a little bit closer, but it is, of course, Melo already on the side while trying to follow it up himself. Does get a beautiful 50 once again, and it's really the power that we have to say that Solari have forced those 50s into a position that they want to control. And right now, it is Melo realizes he has time, trying to go up. Gets it past Riggs, now trying to follow it up from the ceiling. And he got a little bit of a reset, but Dumain thought that Exotic was not that smart, didn't realize to follow it up, but here is Rex, this time around in control, flicks one, and Melo has to step in on defense. And that is, of course, beautifully dealt with from Solari. Exotic trying to take it upfield, gets beat out in the 50 though, still in a dangerous possession for Nemo, and Melo trying to drop it down in front of Nick, cleared out to the corner. Dumain, a bit of time, can't find the second touch. And Kerry takes no advantage of it, bringing it around. Trying to find the pass, popping it off the wall, over to Melo off the post, it goes, Rex! He can't get it away, Exotic at the chance, out to the midfield, cleared away one more by Rex, he had a chance to launch this upfield, over past Kerrion, to the post once more, Dumain bringing it round, not good enough, Exotic, over one, a launch upfield to the top corner, and so they have a 3 2 lead. And this shows once again, Boyo. Giving space to Solari, not being able to shut down that offensive play the moment they are able to pass is also dangerous because whatever they do, if that pass is even awkward, they're remotely able to put it anywhere inside the net. Top corner, bottom corner, it doesn't matter. These guys see the opportunities, they're able to actually pull those mows up. And so it is very important for Nameless to realize we are not allowed to give them that space, those openings to try and shoot at all that. Coming around, another shot, possible, not able to be found, and it's Rex on the ball. And they pass it round, over to Rex once more. To the backboard, Exotic can find the save, it's Melo to clear it away past one, dropping down. Another hit centre, two mains up, a lovely touch down, no one there to follow, Kerry can get it away with absolute ease. And the chance of her name was are coming out, no follow up, just shuts down the plays. Another chance in front of net, out to the side it goes. With 10 seconds left in the clock, a goal is needed right about 
No! The Cortex down. Zoom in. Taking it high. Over a right. Cannot connect to the corner. A hit it high. Kidding. Dropping it down. The touch of the ground. So we're going to take game number two and go 2 0 oh, up in the series. Well, maybe our nameless squad was a little bit too nameless. Maybe they don't even have a say in this matchup because right now it really feels like they are being trampled by Solary. Of course, this game was way closer. Now it was only a one goal difference. Maybe if this run continues, boy, we're going to see a 2 1 victory this time around or for the next game for game three for nameless. But it's just the control, it's the vision control, it's everything that Solary is just doing way better compared to Nameless. That's putting these two teams apart. Of course, Nameless are trying to brute forces, trying to use mechanics, use passing plays, but Solary just knows what's going to happen. So sometimes they're caught off guard and then you get a goal as a result, but otherwise they are ready. They're expecting it and they're going to intercept and react immediately with a nice counterplay. Yeah, so a great counterplay from Sol, a great reaction all around, ready for everything that comes to them. And thanks to that, they're two up in the series, looking for less sweep. And Nameless have given them a bit of a challenge, making it some close games both times. Not close enough though, as they are trailing by two games, the main trying to drop it down. He's also going to bat ball, clearing it out to the side. Bet's going to try and keep the pressure on in the corner by himself. Kidding. Just 50-50 and all around, Exotic gets it away, straight to Ocelon, launching it around, but no follow-up, Domain has to back off, and a push up field from Solary, trying to get that opening goal, not able to be found, and instead the counter from Rex to the backboard, another shot, way too weak from Domain though, no chance of going in, and it goes out to the sides, Solary, they're just so much more dominant than Nameless, taking full advantage to the backboard once more, but an easy clear away. It's definitely like you say, boy, those controls that Solary is really exhibiting right now. It is putting Nameless to shame because every time over and over again that Nameless try and do a ruthless attack, all three committing for a ball, trying to follow up on each other's shot. There's always one from Solary already ready to intercept it once again. And we see as well that right now they're playing very aggressively, trying to get those damage, trying to get those bumps on defense as well to create opportunities. But right there, Carrier with a fake Ocelon just in the nick of time is able to respond to it he realized that Karen was going to fake at the last moment was still in a position to do something but now Mello down to the middle there is Karen already oh, oh, oh. Oh, it just doesn't go in it's not gifted to them right now but that is of course Ocelon trying to force his way through slow playing it trying to force a 50 to get that goal well even closer as it is still nil nil with three minutes and 20 seconds remaining that might have been a beautiful opportunity if Rix was able to get that bump Dropping down, Ocelon had a chance, cleared out to the side, doing in, takes it high, trying to pass it in once more, got the boost, does not have the possession, and Melo, pass it high over one, Ocelon waiting back, Melo over another, it's a dangerous position for Nameless to be in, stuck in the back line, they're all coming around, couldn't find anything but Exotic keeping the pressure on, and they get the pass out, couldn't find it, Kerry and Hyro to the backboard, with a flip reset, another chance to me, and gets the save, and away it goes, but just for a moment, straight back in, Solary not giving up, another pass centre of the post that goes. Ocelon has time to get the clear, and Nameless, a bit of time to breathe. Well, of course, they already hold on for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, that's a potential overgone, but Mallow able to put it to the side, and Riggs, that should have been buried, come on, that was an open net, that was the only opportunity that you were going to get from Solari for free, and now it is the main that has to stop it up, ball still in the middle, Ocelon going up, trying to drop it to the middle. But that is, of course, the defense already intercepting as Kenya puts it to the side. And this time around, it is Solari hunting to get that goal for finally the first time in this game. Because it's been 0-0 nil, nil, nil for three minutes already. And if this keeps going on, Boyo, it might be a big strain on both teams. Melo trying to find the shot. Goes for the pass instead to Exotic. A long shot field from Rex. Going to be easily saved. But a good turn of pressure here is also on can push in. Up the side wall, Kerry and can intercept. But the push continues. Dume not getting a pass exotic. Another one shot field. A potential shot off the crossbar. Also on to the backboard. Dume trying to follow up but not good enough. Cleared away. Melo, one shot field. Tap down from Rex and exotic gets it away once more. Still can't do anything with it. And Kerry out to exotic. Not good enough. Still nil nil. One minute away on the clock. Solary two up in the series, match point for them. 
and it's still no no. Game number three. We could see an overtime, but we could see Sony slip through and they take it to the backboard. They follow up from Exotic, gonna drop down. I see from Domain, but there's Carrion following up. Not good enough. And another follow from Melo. Here down to the sides. Arsenal gets it away. So much aggression from both sides, but the goal's not slipping by. Another chance. Go and send it a small tap. Domain can't find it. And it gets away once more. How will the goal get to be scored? I do not understand. Still, no, no. Both teams definitely trading blows time after time out again. Why there? Solari had that prime example. Had that prime opportunity to make it 1 0 already. And then, of course, we had a good counter for Nameless trying to put their name on the board, trying to make this at least a 3 1 series. But that's a beautiful shot from Dumain, able to make it 1 0. And Nameless are leading with 25 seconds remaining. 25 seconds, Nameless have the lead. They must take this game. How would they throw it away now? They've got 25 seconds. Just hold on and you do not get swept. You have a bit of time. You have a chance. 1 0. But so he says, otherwise, I'll take it out of field. And already found a shot and a goal. Exotic. A lovely shot. One apiece. Melo going for the bump. All tied up. Boyo, this is, this is something that we have to address as casters this time around. How many kickoff goals has made things awkward? Because it was looking like it was Nameless's game. After that goal from Domain, beautiful opportunity created, but right there of the kickoff, Solo is to show to be a force to reckon with. And right now they're piling up the pressure. Nobody's in defense. Domain, an awkward spot, able to get the save as we have the last seven seconds. That's the last opportunity carrying down to. Oh, potentially exotic as it's now Mallow in defense, tied to the uh, air as well as it is. Dumain trying to find a Cillian uh, and one minute, one one, OT, game three. This is high amounts of pressure for Nameless. High amounts of pressure as the ball comes round over time. Match point in favour of Sori. One goal needed and they could take it and that could be the goal to the corner. What a save from Dumain. Cleared away. Over by Rex. Over to Arsalon. Taking it high. Exotic's there. Arsalon gets it over one. Melo easily finding a touch. It's up high to Exotic once more. Can't find a touch. Melo gonna back off. Coming centre. Another chance. But Arsalon takes control of it once more. Taking it slow. He's got some time to take, but not much of it. The strong the player pushing in. And they're trying to find this goal. They score a goal in this overtime. They take the series. Sitting above net. Still not in. Here away by Domain. And over to Rex once more. He takes it high. Another chance. A clear away from Kenny in centre. And Melo tries his best to get it away. Gets dunked on though. No. Bringing around by Rex and a clear away by Exotic. Melo taking it high. A wide open oh. net. A wide open net. And sorry. And a sweet take there. Serious. Speechless to that last goal, really. But I was going to point out that Nameless are really going ham from start to finish, trying to pile the pressure and maybe playing a little bit too offensive from time to time. But they got rewarded. It is Solary, like you said, that do get one step closer to that main event. Of course, they, of course, need to fight way more people in order to get there, really. But this series, in a sweep fashion, does give them a ton of momentum going into the next game. I will potentially put him in a running for that top contending spot. Yes, for sure. They move over to losers around seven and a very good position right now. They have two more matches they have to win though. They want to qualify and some tough opponents at that. AS Monaco. We ought to do need sports happening over on the Rocket Baguette stream. Game five at the moment. The winner of that will face off against Solary. And the winner of then that match will face off against Canyons. So a tough route all around. And over on the other side of the bracket, we have Magnifico against Two Monkey and BDSB Stormtroopers fighting their way for that other qualifying spot. A tough lower bracket right now. Everyone in a tough situation. But so when they made it to lose around seven. They're in a good spot to do it, but they've got a good bit of work to do. That is all from me interested tonight, though. But you still have some excellent casters and games coming up. Next up, you will be joined by Stax and a Danny Boy for that match we're waiting for. Losers round seven, Sorry, if you're the winner of Oxford Esports or Monaco.
Be sure to stick around. It will not be long. And have a good night.